Hello all, Seriously is here, back again for some more finishing permadeath. And today I think I'm going to go after a hauler. I've looked a couple up online. Uh, we have a couple of things to deal with first. First we have a hauler that we got during Dreams of the Deep. We also have a shuttle. Yeah, a shuttle that we got during Dreams of the Deep. And you can see they're both very damaged. Let's see. Shield down. Pulse engine... So the launch thruster is fine, but we cannot uh, go anywhere because uh, that's that's right, right, right. I can't take off. Yeah, okay. But we can make this our primary starship, and then do uh, a little bit of funny business with the uh, terminus, the teleporter. Let's go to the space station and see which ship it brings uh, with us. Now that we've made that our primary one. Sent out some frigate missions. Those are going great. Whoops, that's not what we want to do. We want to go to space stations. Let's just go to the current system. And we're going to do that because the... Uh, oh, <laughs> forgot about that. Sorry, but the uh, loudness of that warp. The current system is where the freighter is as well. So we can just take whatever ship we get uh, after we scrap this shuttle and uh, fly back to the freighter and do it again for the hauler. Yeah, so there we are, there's our damaged shuttle. As you can see, now that we've gotten to the space station, it's not so damaged. Check this out. Boop, pulse engine is repaired. I can, I can fly right now if I want. However, <laughs> I don't want. The shield is down, it's, uh, it's got nothing, bunch of broken stuff. I want to scrap it. All right, uh, I didn't check my inventory slots. Hopefully we've got enough space for scrapping this. It's not a very good ship, so let's see what we got. No, we don't have enough space, all right. So let's deal with inventory first. Oh, right, all of those bones and uh, bulbs and such. Okay, anyone here to sell to? No? Uh, well, there's this guy. There's always this guy. All right. Give it to Mikey. He'll, uh, you know what? I don't want to waste a slot, but let's buy one of those. It's only five million. I do need several still. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I don't want to spend my units yet. I want to spend those on haulers today. Uh, purchase old scrap. I believe this is where we can sell stuff to them. Yeah. Bones. Get rid of all the bones. I wish I could just bulk sell these bones. Like, I only have one of each. They're all different names, unfortunately. <laughs> mm, okay, get rid of that. The bones won't be accepted at the archives, as we found, but I did find off-screen that there's a third archive station that I can use downstairs on the other landing pad, so I upgraded one of these things to... where did it go? This. Went up to a gold one, so great, good news. I'm going to hang on to those purple ones, put them on the freighter to try and upgrade them. All right, so that should be enough room. Let's uh, clear up a little bit more by doing what I just said, putting these on the freighter. There we go. That's plenty of room to scrap a ship or two. All right, Mr. Shuttle, let's uh, say goodbye to you. You were on fire at the bottom of the ocean, so that's impressive, but uh, time for you to go. Looks like we just got the two modules, maybe even one. Let's take a look. Uh, I don't want A-class ones. Yeah, just one module. That was not a great shuttle to scrap. Did we get any uh, module? Ooh, yay. That's awesome. Um, let's put that on the freighter as well. It's in the system, so there we go. We can upgrade a ship. See, this is why I don't mind if uh, any of these haulers that I'm going for are going to be tier 1 or tier 2 haulers. We'll see. I think the, f the one I want the most is a tier 3 hauler, so don't really have to worry about too many storage augmentations for that. It's going to be close to max slot anyway. Oh, well, there it goes, no matter what. Okay. <laughs> All right, we want to get all of the modules put in this ship now that it's maximum slot. And I could just use uh, this fighter as a building ship, you know, put nothing but um, building components on it like I'm going to do with the haulers. 
I would like to get two haulers overall, but I have three to look at, and uh, I want to see what they look like in-game. I want to confirm... Oh, look at that red bridge. Doesn't it look great? Stay that way. Just stay that way. It's red and gray exactly like I want it. Please stay that way. All right, let's quickly switch over to that hauler and pull the same gimmick. Hopefully the warp to the space station doesn't take too long. And then one more time we're going to fly back to the freighter before we take the portal to Euclid. All right, let's repair your pulse drive by taking a teleporter to the space station. I mean, we definitely have the materials to just fly it there, but this is pretty much just as fast, um, and, it, and we don't have to spend any materials, so let's do it this way. Uh, just to show that it's possible, at least. Like I said, we've got lots of materials, we could easily... Ah, I just did that, and I forgot again. <laughs> I'm glad not every... Uh, base terminus. It's just the one on the freighter, it seems for me, that is super duper loud when you warp through it. At least right at the beginning. This part is okay. It doesn't sound too loud to hear, right? Oh, that was nice and quick. Alright, let's get that newly repaired hauler scrapped. I think it was C-Class, wasn't it? Yeah. But 25 slots is 25 slots, so it is worth 4.5 million. Not too bad. I didn't check my inventory, but I don't think we would have got enough stuff to worry about it. Uh, we should. Uh, we did sell the one module, so yeah, there we go. Lots of room. All right, we got two modules from that one. I think I'll hang on to that chlorine because I've noticed that I'm a bit low on it. So, boop, boop. All right, that's those two slots gone, and we should be back with the lariat. Was that what it's called? <clears throat> uh, uh, the Iowa Writ. Oh, hmm. I was reading it Lar <laughs> Lariat. Okay, so we've got it saved. What do we want to sell? Send that to the freighter, that to the freighter. Because I have less than a thousand. I don't know how much less than a thousand, but uh, let's save some of that. We can sell this junk. Yeah, let's sell that junk. No ships. Well, is a ship going to get in before I get to the scrap merchant? We shall see. Doesn't look like it, because I'm here already. <laughs> okay. we got to get going. We're not going to get even to see if any of these ships land, let alone get an S-Class version. Uh, sell. I don't want to sell the Indium. Oh, I sold regular Indium. Is that what I wanted to do? Whoops. Well, it's gone. Too late now. <laughs> Subatomic regulators, tank of coolant, okay, thermal panels, yeah, all that jazz. You know what I think I did? I think I sold, yep, nuts. All right, while well, the freighter's here, let's replace that with what I've got left over. That's enough. That's perfect, actually. Now I've got room to grow in here and the 500 back again. No, no, no. Stop looking. No, no point in looking. Okay. And we could just go straight from here back to Euclid. We could take the space station teleporter, but I want to take the one, and one more time, I'm going to remember this time that it's very loud. Uh, but I want to switch ships first. I suppose I could have just called my other ship in, but, uh... Oh, I really like that when it's red. <laughs> Just want to pause and look at it each time it stays that way, because it's going to be yellow in no time, or green, or blue, or just multicolored changing bridges. Ugh. I mean, that would be neat if it was, like, constantly shifting. <laughs> but that is not what I'm looking for. Uh, what I'm looking for is that. All right, so now we've got lots of slots for ships. We had to do that first. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Well, let's just go back in the other one. <laughs> just needed to make an autosave uh, so that this was my primary ship. Did not need to fly out of the ship, out of the freighter. Whoopsie doodle. Interesting fighter ahead of us. Not the colors I like, though. All right, 
let's see, one more time. Brace your ears for impact upon uh, warping here. But first, we got to find the base. Uh, rim starter Euclid portal. That's the one we would like to go to, so we don't have to waste some time flying from one side of the planet to the other. Hopefully I was talking over that warp long enough. I wonder if I need to charge this portal or not. We'll see. We shall see. I believe... I, I definitely have the materials to charge it on me, so that's not a problem. Just a little bit of an annoyance and a waste of time that I've already charged it at least once or twice. And I haven't used it since. It should still be charged. I haven't used any other portals in Euclid at least since, so I presume this one should still be charged, but we'll see. We'll see. So first things first, I want to go to the one that is the oldest find, and this does matter because... Um, Different patches can change where ships appear and so that sort of thing. Uh, none of these are crashed ships, so I don't need to worry about coordinates. Oh, good, I don't need to charge it. That's great. Uh, but there's been a lot of patches, so this one's over a year old. But let's go find out if it drops there still. Sunbird, boat and balloon, dragonfly, bird. Dry forcey thing and a boat. And then we want a sun and a moon. And a galaxy and a Y or a tree. Whatever you call it. Or a fork in the road. Rivulets. Who knows what that symbol is supposed to be. I don't think the game developers have given us the name that they call it yet. Like they have for some of the others. All right, let's see what we get. Well, uh, regardless of what we do, we're gonna fly up to the space station and we might just uh, reload the autosave right there just to force an automatic uh, spawning of some ships. Depends on what the economy of the star system is. I think all of these are gonna be in high economy systems because most people don't post their ship finds uh, that aren't crashed ships, uh, unless it's a high economy system just because it's so hard to find S-Class ships in non-high economy systems. This is a long pause. It might get loud when we finally port in here. I don't know if there's a lot of bases here or what's happening. Interesting. Well, it wasn't too loud. Uh, it has been discovered. That's a good sign. If this was a, a first discovery, that would be a very bad sign. That would mean I'm probably in the wrong spot. Okay, there is a space station, that's a good sign, because I wouldn't want to have to uh, search for a crashed ship. <laughs> if this was an abandoned system, um, I don't think we'd be able to get the ship to spawn anywhere, because trade posts would also be abandoned. Minor settlements, all everything would be abandoned. Oh, that's my favorite spot, that's great. Well, we're definitely going to make an autosave. This spot lets you get out at the back of the space station. You can hop on your ship and get a good, well, unless a bunch of haulers come in, you can get a good vantage point of all the ships coming in without any blockage or worry. You don't have to go to the back yourself. If your, if your ship spawns at the front, you can just stand up here. This is a pretty good spot too, but you want to face forward. I like that it's a um, short runway system. All right, well, I do see one ship coming. I don't see what it is. We might do one reload here. Um, we've already got this station on record now in the teleporter list. In fact, let's um, take a quick peek on the scanner. And this is Ayesk Kit, Station Alpha Ayesk Kit. I'll, I'll just put that on the note that I will put the portal address. So I know which station is which, because I'm probably going to have to come back and find this later. That is not the hauler I'm looking for. Don't worry. <laughs> not a bad design. I really like that design, actually. Uh, but the colors are not my style. Um, very pastel. 
Not too bad. <laughs> if you if those are the colors you like. But I do not want pastel pink, teal, and yellow. I am looking for a red and gray one. A gray and red one, I think, here. Yeah, this is the wing hauler. It'll have fan wings, and it's going to be mostly gray with some red highlight. That's what I'm looking for here. Okay, well, I didn't see it spawn in this first wave, but this isn't a real first wave. This is uh, me appearing down on the planet and flying up to the space station. So we don't know exactly what spawns on the first wave here. If uh, I don't see anything interesting on the second wave, no, that's also not the hauler. Uh, however, this is a GEC system, so there are seven different haulers in this system. So we could be waiting a little while to make sure that this is the system we would like to be in. Give a couple more ship landings and then we'll do a reload real quick. Let's see what the next ship is. There should be available to be four at a time. This is a opulent system. So we do have a high economy here, so we can get four NPCs landing at a time if you are by yourself in single player. If you're in multiplayer, every single other player in the game with you, whether they're landed in the system or not, will prevent an NPC from landing. All right, so that's a shuttle. We're just gonna reload. Hopefully the reloads don't take too, too much time here. We're probably only going to get to the next system, to be honest. I don't know if we're going to have time to even find one of these ships. But it's important to get these space stations into my list so I can just find them in my off time between other episodes. And when I finally do get them, we can show them off. All right, so let's hop up here and face forward. I don't know if your character needs to face forward, but I think your camera does. I'm sure I could go like this and just like that. And that actually might help because uh, your character rocks back and forth, see a bit. And while my backpack's in the way there, if I were to point my camera or my character this way, sometimes I'm going to be even more in the way than my backpack. Of course, you could fix all that just by using first person camera. Not to my tastes, first person camera. Um, I use it in the ship though. I do like seeing the inside of the cockpit. That's really cool. But mostly just so I can see my heads up display and the radar and such. I don't really enjoy flying that way or at least not combat. All right, a shuttle. That pastel ship again. That seems to be a first wave find. Alright, that one again. So it seems like the first wave here was what we were getting. Good to know. However, a bit annoying because that means we're going to have to wait an extra wave at least to see anything new. I mean, both of those two ships were new, so maybe not too, too long. We'll see what we get. There's something coming in. Does not appear to be a hauler. It looks like a fighter. Something small, at least. Not bad. I don't like the upward uh, vents on those things that much, but... Oh, yeah, it was a fighter. Look at that. All right. Is that coming in? No, that's just flying beneath us. We do have room for one more. Nope, another shuttle. All right, so Explorer should be taking off shortly. Oh, we'll holler first, I guess, okay. I don't know if examining ships prevents pilots from taking off or not, like standing on them does, but hopefully not. We do want to see more ships sooner. Yeah, there he goes, okay, great. A newer, differenter shuttle, that's great. <laughs> oh. What's that? That seems wide. That might be what I'm looking for. Does seem to have fins or fans. Fingers crossed. And it doesn't matter what class we see here. I'm not I'm not gonna buy it unless it's an S class anyway, but if it's an S class, I'll buy it. That is that's the one. That is it. Yeah, gray with red trim. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's a B class. 
that's all we needed to see. That is really all we needed to see. We're good. Okay, so... I can fly down to the planet and go through the portal again just to dial from back where we were in Euclid, or I can just take this back to Euclid base, Euclid portal base, and dial from there again. Euclid portal. There we go. So that's one system that we put a check mark on. Yes, it does spawn here still. We do have to wait for the S-Class. We don't have that one locked in yet. Now this next one is a gorgeous uh, glow ball hauler, and this was only found, I think, a month ago. So this one should still be available. Uh, I'm not too concerned about it, but it's got very nice red color to it. I might come get this on my other permit save that has a more of a red focus to its color theme. But uh, this one fits the theme. It's red and gray, even if it's mostly red. Uh, it looks great. It's got the exact guards that I like, the uh, split wing shields. And it has glowing gas ball storage containers on the side with the glowing shields. All right, so it's still charged. I like to see it. That's great. We would like this one I did not, I've never seen, but it's one of the first four or one of the first six. So it's definitely a possible one. I guess we're being sent to the fourth planet in the system, Diplo. Sun. Oh, oh, am I getting them confused? I've got another one on the list. Okay, no. Diplo, Sun, rocket ship bird. Diplo, Y, Galaxy, Y, yeah, okay, and then Moon, Rocket Ship, Sun, Sun. There we go. Let's hop through this one lickety split and go make sure that this one uh, works as well. At least as best as we can. We're at least going to have flapped at the space station here. So whether or not it's discovered uh, is a good indicator of whether you're in the right place. If it's not discovered, you're probably in the wrong place. Unless you're playing on Xbox or one of the new, like PS5 has apparently a separate galactic discoveries list. So if you're playing on a low player count system, that's not a good way. But on PC or PS4, at least. If you're, the system that you've gone to to find a ship that somebody's posted has not been discovered yet and you're the first person there, that's a bad sign. Uh, and the other bad sign would be if you fly up into space and there's no space station, that's a very bad sign. You are probably in the wrong spot. Mm, yellow volcanoes, interesting, with a, what looks like a red sky. Discovered by Tuxid. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I haven't, uh, have I seen yellow? I'm pretty sure I'd seen all the colors before, but that's a very vibrant yellow. All right, there is a space station. Good news. You can also check your scanner when you get there. It'll basically say what the economy value is of the system, right? So, or your discoveries, I mean. But so will your scanner, uh, if you just point up into space and not at a tree or something, it'll tell you what the system is. Like I'm going to do here, oh, this is a much longer runway, which is unfortunate. Uh, so ship spawns here might be a little bit more tedious. We'll see. We'll see. Only got a few more minutes to see, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, autosave made, that's good. Let's hop up here, whoops, not off the back, please, thank you. There we are. Okay, let's check, uh, what can we, oh, there's a bone to get rid of here as well, and I can sell that, because that's max value. There's the upgraded thing I got, radioactive skulls, it's a gold one, great. I will hang on to this, because I can upgrade that. These can be sold because they can't be upgraded. Okay, okay. We got a couple things coming in. I think I saw something coming in. 
We'll, t we'll keep a listen out. You can hear them landing as well. All right, freighter. Yeah, I can't access the cargo pods. Oh, well. There's stuff to sell here as well, this whole row, basically. All right, neat fighter. Not my colors, but very nice layout. Uh, we'll get a good view of... Looks like it might be a Viking system. Yeah, those are Vikings. Okay, so there's only three haulers in this star system, so that's good news. We're only going to have to wait around to see three different haulers. The problem is getting any of those haulers to land instead of fighters. <laughs> yeah, really, really cool uh, ship layout. Very similar to mine, actually. It's just uh, with a better back engine and different colors. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, even though I do prefer this engine normally, I think I like my engine better with these wings. Hmm, I don't know. All right, what else we got? That's not a hauler. That's maybe a hauler, but not the one I'm looking for. No, that's a shuttle. Neat sort of looking shuttle, though. All right, you get out of here, you shuttle. Make room for a hauler. <laughs> Nothing behind us, okay. And, oh yeah, I, already, I didn't take those out of storage, so I can't access them here, but I, I think I got plenty of money to buy at least one S-Class hauler if it shows up, even if it's a Tier 3 hauler. I think those cost, what, 140, 180 million, something like that. So I've got plenty. Oh, hello. What do we got? That's a hauler. Not the one I'm looking for. Very nice colors on that, actually. White and blue go great together. Oh, it's the uh, Hydra neck, the split neck. Not a fan of the split neck. Wow. I don't know what ship that was that went by the entrance like that, but it missed. <laughs> Oh, apparently not. There it is. It's a very wide um, shuttle. I could be scanning these as they come in. I, I'm not looking to make modules here. I don't want to really make any more autosaves. I've got the one autosave. I think that's good enough. Just want to confirm that this ship does indeed or can land here in one class or another so that I can confirm that it will eventually land in S class. This is also opulent. There are different words to describe the economy level, but once you know affluent, affluence, opulence, you know, high economy, I think is one of them. There's a bunch of different words, but they're all tier three economies. Another shuttle. No, that's a fighter. Not my favorite wings, but they're pretty cool. Nice colors in this system on some stuff. The white and blues look very good together. Even on that uh, Explorer. Alright, you're gone. Uh, once the first wave comes in, it's very... Not like a wave. It's just one at a time. One ship will leave, one ship will come in. Or one or two ships will leave at the same time. One ship will come in, two ships will come in, that sort of thing. So it splits itself up once the first wave has landed, basically. Even the first wave sometimes, on long runways like this, uh, the ships come in one at a time. I have always like seeing these things fly around with the very long wings on those explorers, but I don't know that I would want to fly one. I'm not a fan of the wings cutting through stuff, to be honest. Which is going to be a problem with the ship that I'm getting right now, because the haulers with uh, fan wings, or the one that we just saw, uh, haulers with fan wings definitely cut through the, the catwalk here. I like that ship, that's very cool. My favorite wings, my favorite engine, nice colors. Would go good for my Fallout themed save. There's another hauler that is not the one I want. So uh, I've made an auto save here by getting out of the ship. Let's see what a first wave, see if there's any difference on that. 
And if this doesn't have any effect, we'll just call it a day here. And I'll continue off camera till I find this ship. And we can show you both ships next time. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll find the S-Class. I have enough nanites to upgrade an A-Class. So maybe one of them I can find in A-Class. If I give up on finding the S-Class version. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. And I've been told that staring down the runway helps a lot for ships spawning, especially in long runway systems. So that's a superstition that I believe in because it does seem to work. Uh, if you look at the side, apparently the ships will despawn as they try to fly around to get to the entrance. Because uh, it's too far away. It's outside the range for your game to keep track of. And the ship's like, boop, ah, I don't need to be kept track of anymore. And no ships will fly into the system if you just look sideways the whole time. All right, what do we got? I see some stuff coming in. That looks like it's going to miss. <laughs> Explorer. Taking up the whole screen, thank you. <laughs> There's something. No, I think that's the other kind of explorer we've already seen. That's a shuttle. I don't know where that other explorer would land that I thought I saw, because we're the only two landing rows in this column. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's a hauler. Okay. So one, two, three. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, that's the one I thought I saw. Well, first wave didn't help us here at all. <laughs> Give it just another minute. Hopefully we can see this thing come in. This is the only hauler we've seen so far, isn't it? It was the other system that had that pastel one. Hmm. I wonder what the third hauler looks like. I wonder if I'm in the right system at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, most people don't list the name of the star system they're in. So this like this one is called uh, Kudama Ingux Prime, right? Um, they'll just note the glyphs, so and the galaxy, because that those are the two things that matter is the glyphs in the galaxy. But if you write it down wrong, or they wrote it down wrong, or forgot the galaxy they were in, or you looked up the wrong galaxy, you're going to be in the wrong spot. You're not going to find the same stuff they found. And like I said, some patches change uh, where ships spawn. I don't know that any patches recently, since beyond at least, have had any impact on... Oh, that's a different hauler. It's also got the gooseneck uh, split neck. Gooseneck is the one that goes up. And uh, this is what I call the split neck. All right. All right. Well, I don't see it. I don't see it coming in. We'll wait for one more ship to land, and then we'll call it. I think that's good enough uh, for today. This is the process of finding ships that other people have found. You, you dial the portal, you go to the space station, and you wait for ships to land until you see it. We could try a trade station, too. I don't need to be on a space station. Especially with a long runway like this, it might be better to find a nice flat level planet with a space sta or trade station on it and search for the ship there. Yeah, yeah, all right. The Explorer came in again. Okay, yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, I don't anticipate us seeing one fly in as I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> Anyhow... Uh, I'm going to come back and we're going to have some haulers to look at next time. I might even try finding that third one. I didn't like it as much as these two, uh, so I'm going to at least buy these two. And we'll have some haulers to look at next time. Till then, everyone, have a good time.